What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Redeeming Leclerc's Legacy. It's episode number eight now. We have three more races to go, and there's a nine-point difference. If you didn't see last episode, we had a bit of a stinker when it came to the strategy. We pretty much did a Ferrari strategy. Uh, it was, what, USA safety car came out with three or four laps to go, fly into the pits when we were P7, and the safety car came in before I could catch back up, and I think we finished P12. Or something like that. So an absolute stinker weekend in USA. And that allowed Verstappen to take back P1 in the championship. There's now a nine-point swing. And uh, it, it makes it all the more important to, to really beat him today. If we lose out to Max Verstappen today. And that gap gets above 15 points. The championship is almost out of our hands. Because Verstappen could pretty much finish P2 in the last two races. And still win the championship. Although there is a sprint race in Brazil. So they'll win the additional points there you get an extra eight points in brazil but we need to beat verstappen today we need to close that gap if not overtake him in the championship and uh, right now we are in to q2 and you can see lock it up there and that puts the pressure on us for the final run we got through q1 in the wet conditions you saw how much i struggled in the wet conditions in the last episode i put the new springs in and i'll tell you what they've made a Big difference on my throttle and on my brake and I can kind of feel the pedals a little bit better and you can see here only half half a second off of pole position on that lap on the intermediates and that was me doing it safe as well because I was like I just need to get into Q3 and I only have one run at it so I was just playing it safe towards the end of Q2 there so I, I feel a little bit better in the wet I'm not saying if it's a full wet race that I'm gonna go and win the race but I do feel like I won't be losing one to two to three seconds a lap like I was in the USA. But we are here in Q3 and it is dried up completely. And I tell you what, everybody has finished their laps and I've just started my lap. And it's not fully, the, the grip isn't fully there, but I know I'm in the best, uh, best grip conditions out of everybody else. As you can see around this corner, I almost lose it and have to catch it. I'm three seconds up on my time and you're gonna see the split time right here on george russell we are down 1.6 seconds on him so we are absolutely flying so i know it's probably a guaranteed pole position if not a top three and that's all we need as verstappen has only got p8 as of right now and we're gonna jump ahead of him so verstappen is gonna be p9 after the qualifying but us coming across the line it is p1 almost a second clear of carlos Sainz. you got perez in p3 but the big news is verstappen down in p9 Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Norris, Pierre Gasly, and Russell. Verstappen, Sainz, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Sonoda and Alex Albon. Vettel, Hamilton, Lance Stroll, and Bottas. Magnussen, they've taken a grid penalty. Latifi. Guan Yu Zhou and Esteban Ocon. Ricardo and Mick Schumacher. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Only three races left. You still have a chance of the title, but going to need some special performances. See what you can do, mate. Indeed, we need some special performances, and it has to start here in Mexico. Verstappen starting down the grid order. I'm not sure if he got some places from grid penalties. I think he's starting ahead of Carlos Sainz, so maybe he's in P8, I believe. But anyway, we are getting underway in Mexico on pole position. Some say it's not the best to be on pole position in Mexico because of the long run down to turn one. But Perez gets a fantastic start, and he's already ahead of us. And the cars are flying past us left, right, and center. We've had a stinker of a start already down to P4. And Max Verstappen is going to have a go at us around the outside into turn one. We've made contact with the Red Bull. Verstappen hitting our side pods. But through we go. We're fighting with Lando Norris. And Verstappen dropping down the grid order. He's fighting with the Williams of Alex Albon. George Russell up in a P5. That's what we like to see. Verstappen down the inside of Albon. And he makes contact with the Mercedes. He outbreaks himself. We're trying to have a go at Lando Norris. Down the inside of Lando Norris. It's all kicking off 
on this opening lap and back up in a P3 we go. What a crazy start that was in Mexico. We made contact with our title rival Verstappen. We got a move back on Lando Norris. It was a stinker of a start. And oh my goodness me, it was an absolute mental first lap. But things have kind of settled down as Norris makes a move on us. And I'll tell you what, a big problem that we're going to have this Grand Prix is the lack of straight line speed we have. I'm not sure whether it's me or my setup or just the AI are just absolutely rapid. I think it's a bit of both. The AI is really fast down the straights because I know this has been a problem in F122. But also my setup, I've gone for a, a little bit higher downforce setup so I can be quick in the corners, which I was a lot quicker than the AI in the corners. And... Um, that's a problem that I've had, especially through this first stint. When we get onto the second stint, I drop the uh, wing level a little bit, but it still doesn't make too much of a difference because I, I up the rear wing a lot. I put a lot more downforce on the rear wing because it was sliding around quite a bit in practice and a little bit in qualifying. So that's going to haunt me for most of this race is the lack of straight line speed. And you've got that massive straight down the pit straight, and that's where you need the speed. And without it, and without, it's because even if I have DRS and I chuck on full ERS, cars fly by me like there's no tomorrow. So Russell doing it right then. Yes, he has DRS, but he's just absolutely, he's zooming. He's gone. And now I've got the same problem with Verstappen. I've got DRS. Look how much Verstappen just cruises past. And it's just so, so frustrating knowing that this setup is not the one for overtaking or defended but through the corners we're going to be a lot quicker and that's where we could get good exits and Verstappen is the last person we're going to let pass especially as he's on the hard tyres we're going to try and go around the outside of Max Verstappen and we hold on to that P5 for now but we've spun it we've bottled it We've spun it in Mexico. Verstappen right behind us breaks just in time. And a safety car comes out on lap seven. My, oh my. Let's see what happened. Did Verstappen touch us? I don't think he did. I think it was all our fault. Yeah, we've just dropped it. We've just dropped it. We've had a stinker. We do a bit of a donut. Bringing up some smoke like Grosjean did. Uh, I'm not sure where he did that. Was it China? I don't know. But I remember him <laughs> bringing up a load of smoke when he did a donut and um on lap eight on the safety car we actually do a pit stop and we drop down into p15 so we're back in the midfield but it could work very very well because these hards could definitely make it to the end of the grand prix it's 27 laps yes they might be dead come the last five five or so laps but we could definitely make it with these hard tires and perez and verstappen both on the hards they were right with us so they were fast on the hard. So we need to do something else because, quite frankly, I don't think I can catch the Red Bulls, especially down the straight. As look at that switch back on the Aston Martin. Uh, you're going to see some great overtakes just because in the midfield, we're on fresher tyres and we've got a faster car. And most of the overtakes are probably going to be through the corners because down the straights, they'll have a chance to come back at me. But yeah, the Red Bulls on the hard tyres, they were looking rapid. They are the fastest uh, car. So it's, it's, it's a little bit scary knowing that they have more pace than me. As science literally pushes us off the track. Talk about team orders. This is when I need it. Science, you're like 100 points behind me. You're supposed to just let me through. Otherwise, this man, Max Verstappen, is going to win the championship. He's chilling in P5 behind Russell Norris and Alonso, who are all on the mediums. And his teammate, also P1, who's on the hards. It's looking like a... A fantastic day for Red Bull right now. Whereas we're down in P10, struggling as Hamilton now into the pits along with Albon, struggling to get through the cars. We've got a bit of clear air right now. But watch this. This is our straight line speed. We've got ERS, we've got DRS, and we're just getting bombarded and swarmed by the AI. And almost four wide going into turn one. And sights. Is it I, I can't believe this guy. He's not our teammate. He is our enemy at this point. He's diving down the inside. He just let us go, mate. Just let us go. You're fighting for nothing. You're not helping us in the constructors either. Look at this. Carlos Sites. He just, he's just blocking us off. I, I, I don't know what's going on here. But he is not helping us one bit. And we're stuck behind him on lap 17. Him doing dive bombs down the inside is not helpful either. But finally, finally, he pisses off. And goes into the pits. And now we can get on with our race. Verstappen onto the mediums on lap 20. And you can see we, we're 
We're about 18 seconds behind Perez. Verstappen down into P7. I think Vettel needs to pit and a couple others. But we got to run our own race. Well, I mean, that's helpful. Sergio Perez has an issue. He was our main threat. If he was going to catch us, we were just going to let him pass because on those fresh mediums, we wouldn't stand a chance to fight him. And our main goal is just beating Verstappen and closing that gap. But Verstappen, uh, but with Perez, with the lack of pace, he's dropping behind Verstappen. But I tell you what, he's fighting it. He's not going to let Verstappen just pass. He has his reasons here in Mexico. It's his home Grand Prix and he wants to still try and finish on the podium. He wants P2. He's not going to bow down to Max Verstappen this time. And all while they're fighting, they're losing seconds to be out front. This is so, so important for the Drivers' Championship. Verstappen now 6.8, 7 seconds behind after that battle. It was 3 seconds before they battle, or 4 seconds or something like that. So if Perez just let Verstappen pass, Verstappen would have likely caught up to the back of us. And he'll be all over us right about now. But we are able to cruise home with two to three laps to go. We're cruising. Perez, he's now fixed his issues and he's trying to get back at Verstappen. But Verstappen was pushing all the way. Look how close they are. 1.7 seconds is the difference. If they didn't fight, they would have came back and Verstappen would have likely won here in Mexico. But he didn't. It's Leclerc's and Ferrari's day. It's a big, big victory when it comes to the World Drivers' Championship. We're not going to talk about the World Constructors' Championship because it's a Red Bull 2-3 and Sainz was absolutely nowhere to be seen. I think he finished P8, P9. He's finished way down the order and uh, very, very disappointed from him. Basically fighting us the whole time, trying to make us lose the race and then didn't even finish in the top five. Where was he? We're in the second or third fastest car or joint first or whatever. But it's a win for us. And it was Carlos Sainz down in P9. Verstappen taking home a P2, which is a solid result considering where he started. And Red Bull nailed the strategy. And it's a two-point gap at the top of the Drivers' Championship. Perez has an outside shot of winning the championship, but he needs us and Verstappen to pretty much DNF the next two races and him to win the next two. So it pretty much is just between us and Verstappen with two races to go and a sprint race in Brazil. The Constructors' Championship is pretty much finished. But if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you go ahead, leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, also subscribe. And actually leave a comment on who you think is going to win this World Drivers' Championship. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.